and I guess it's because I've known you from day one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the only one here that has been here since day one when you walked into Lee County. And Mr. Henry hired you, and before I go any further, he cannot leave his house right now except in an ambulance. Oh, boy. Um, so when he goes to dialysis, they have to take him in an ambulance. So he couldn't be here, or you know he would be here. He'd love to. And before I forget it, because this wasn't in my notes, I got to teach her oldest baby. <laughs> <laughs> and look how good she turned out. <laughs> 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 Mr. Henry said, are you sure you want to put her in her class? Because she had never taught before. <laughs> She was a great student, so she helped me have a good year. So anyway, um, backing up to the Mississippi girl <laughs> that came to Lee County. She had no idea what she was getting into, and she had no idea that all these years later that she would still be here. Uh, but she is, and she got special treatment because we not only gave her one room, we gave her two rooms when she came here. We just didn't tell her they were 12 by 12. <laughs> she was in these two rooms right up here. <laughs> and uh, it was so she would, the doors were open and she would run from room to room. And the machine in there too. The machine was in there so everybody was in and out of her room too. We weren't quite as big then as we were now. And this used to be the library. So if I'm remembering right, because she's been all over the school, um, she stepped up, and this became her room. <laughs> but there was a petition right here, and she, this was the library, and that was her room. <laughs> and it was kindergarten. I actually started in this room. Oh, did you start here? to first grade, because oh. he wouldn't let us move up. You know, Miss Henry, uh-uh. Yeah. When I okay. moved up to first grade, that's when I moved yeah, up the two, two, two little rooms. rooms. <laughs> okay, well, I don't feel so bad then, because she knew what she was getting in. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, and I believe we went to the tables. And you were vandalized a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yellow paint, yeah. yellow paint all over the walls, <laughs> and I mean, just trashed. And um, she still, we cleaned it up, and, and she was still out there. And then she got the opportunity to actually come inside to a real classroom. She won't come. <laughs> well, she had her own bathroom and everything. Had a porch. Yeah, she could be noisy, and the neighbors didn't fuss. So anyway, um, I wanted to back up and, and mention also when you were in here, Mildred Stringer. Mm -hmm. She was, and uh, she was in here. She's not with us anymore, uh, but uh, she was here for a long time too. And uh, she was not a certified librarian, but she did a pretty good job of it. Um, and uh, but. It was it was so, it was different back then. We didn't have all these buildings, and I was uh, some of the kids were asking me the other day when I was walking them back to class about the archways. I said, well, every time you see an archway, there was an outside door. I said, there's been an addition every time, and they said, wow, because <laughs> you know, I got to count the additions. So anyway, um, since the portables, we finally got her inside. And I don't know where all you've been since then. I, I lost count. I don't even know. I do know that, um, you know, we have um, been through some years together, okay? But wherever you, your classroom was, um, it didn't matter because you were teaching kids. Amen. No matter where you were, you were teaching kids, and that's all that mattered. And um, then I go back and think through the years, and I'm going to hush in just a minute, okay? Because i got kids waiting on me. <laughs> um, we had a lot of time together. We went to a lot of workshops together in the summertime, y'all. We used to spend summers in workshops. Mm -hmm. We did. And uh, I remember all your scuba diving stories. <laughs> and I so wanted to do that, but I was so chicken. <laughs> and you gave me my one and only ride in a Jaguar. <laughs> See what I remember? <laughs> we know you love this. <laughs> okay. You lived through some tough times and you made it through to much better times. Well, yeah. And not going to quit doing that. <laughs> you're a strong woman and you are very blessed with your husband, your children, and your grandchildren. And now you get time to enjoy them all. <laughs> so, Dr. Susie Hardy, I would like to present you with this plaque. Presented to Susie Hardy in recognition of 34 years of teaching, the students, faculty, and parents of West Smith Station Elementary School and Smith Station Primary School.
not on there, but <laughs> thank you for your dedication. And we appreciate you so much. <laughs> She does Lincoln, I do Seuss. <laughs> Quote, don't cry because it's over. I said this to y'all when we realigned. Yeah. If y'all remember this, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. Yeah. And it's not over, it's just beginning, I promise. <laughs> okay. Thank you for all you've done. We love you. Speech. So, um, I know that um, everybody in this room has touched me in some way, but the kids are, you know, like you said, while we're here, and um, just a prime example, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday, Mallory and I were at Justin's barber shop, sitting there, and we're just, I'm playing with the kids while Wyatt's getting his hair cut, and I see a guy sitting over in the chair getting his hair cut, and I'm not really paying attention to him. He starts to walk out and he said, Are you Miss Savage? Of course, that took me back away. And I was like, Yeah. And he said, He kind of looked at me and I said, Win Hall? And he said, Yes. I have not seen him since he was in kindergarten. And so, I mean, like, he remembered me, he saw me walking across the parking lot. And so, I hope, and he was bad, but. He <laughs> <laughs> that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I told the barber that. He didn't want to swim around, but. Um, Y'all know I, I always get the bad boys for some reason, and we, we make friends somehow or another. But um, we do. Y'all name them. I can name them. But um, that's been my calling in life. No matter what else I've tried to do, other things, I've always wound up back here in the, you know, in the classroom. And I love what I'm doing, and I hope I just get to continue doing it somehow. And I appreciate all of you guys because you all have been my rock when I needed it. Y'all over there know, and, and I love all y'all. And I, I just, I'm, I'm glad the day's here, but it's bittersweet. Um, but I know it's time, and I thank y'all for everything. Thank <laughs> you.